Next we'll look at directory manipulation. The two commands we'll be using are mkdir and rmdir. mkdir or make directory creates the directories that we store files in. There are a couple of interesting switches that can be used with this command. The first one is m which allows me to set permissions on the directory as I, as I create it. And the second one is the P option, which allows me to create a hierarchy of directories. After that, we'll look at removeDir, which we've discussed in previous lectures. The removeDir will remove an empty directory, and that's the key. It has to be empty. So if you have any files or subdirectories in a directory, better command would be the rm-rf, which would remove all directories and files recursively. So let's hop on the command line and take a look at both of these. First command we'll look at is the make dir command, which allows me to make directories. So I'll make a directory on the desktop, dir2. And then I can use the remove dir to remove the directory because it is an empty directory, dir2. If I was to recreate the dir2 directory and then touch a file and I can string commands along so basically what's happening here is I'm putting two commands on one line I'm telling the system to run make dir and then the semicolon after that and then then run the next command which will be touch one I'll press enter creates the directory and inside of the directory, there's file one. Now I'll try to run the remove dir command again. And as you can see, I get an error message that the directory is not empty. Well, I can get around that with the rm-rf command running against it. Remember, that runs recursively, and the f stands for force. Don't ask any questions and that will delete it. So the remove dir is pretty self-explanatory and you'll find yourself using rm-rf quite often. The make dir command also has a few other switches that we can use. I'll type make dir dash dash help to see some of the parameters. This one is interesting and that allows me to set permissions on the directory as I create it. And then the dash p option allows me to create a hierarchy of directories. I'll demonstrate both of those. So first of all, I'm going to make a directory. And I know we haven't discussed permissions yet, but we will be discussing it. This allows me to set security on this particular directory. Who can access it, who can write to it, who can read the files in it. And I can use the make dir command along with the dash m argument to set the permissions as I create it. Zero 07 and we'll call this one dir3. Once again that allows me just to set the permissions automatically on this directory overriding the defaults. We'll be talking more about permissions in a later lecture. I can also create a whole hierarchy of directories with the dash p option. So if I wanted to, I could create the dir4, and below that, subdir1, and then subdir2, and then subdir3. It's the p option that allows me to do this. So it will create a dir4 directory on the desktop and then inside of that directory there'll be a subdir1 and then inside of subdir1 there'll be subdir2 and then inside of subdir2 subdir3 alright let's go ahead and do that and we can we know that we can use the ls command to view uh, a directory structure recursively so we'll do that And when I look at it with the ls command, I see that here is dir1, and below that is subdir1, and then in subdir1 is subdir2, and so on. 
so you can actually see the directory structure. Now once again I could use the rm command since all the directories are empty within there with the r option to recursively delete it but we'll use rm-rf once again to get rid of that. And then we might as well get rid of three while we're at it also. So that's the make dir and the remove dir commands. Very basic, but something you'll be using quite often through this course and in your career.